Harvey, one of them, Mark Resenthal, with you on this Tuesday. Labor Day is over. Summer is over. Well, unofficially it's over. You know, fall doesn't begin officially for the next three weeks. And I think we're going to get some summer back before September is over. We've got lots of weather to talk about, so let's jump right to it, shall we? Weather headline would suggest a beautiful Tuesday around here. It'll be mild and dry. Cold fronts approaching tomorrow with showers and storms. Some could be severe. We'll keep you posted on that. Then Dorian might bring rain, wind, and surf to the New England South Coast on Friday. So we'll be following that potential. Now, I want to show you a couple of things. This is why I'm nervous about Dorian. We'll show you the loop in a second. Once it moves south of New England, even in a much weakened fashion, it could ramp up very quickly because look at all this warm water and hurricanes love warm water. It could give it a shot of adrenaline, and that could mean the wind field could expand, the rain could expand, very rough sea. So lots to follow over the next several days. Of course, this is not etched in stone. Here's the loop missing Florida, hitting perhaps south and North Carolina, then scooting rapidly off to the northeast. But you know what I'm not showing is winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. If they dig down enough like this, we have some ridging going on like this, we may slow the storm down. It could get captured in this position and come closer to the Cape. I'm not going with that right now as the loop continues to take it about 200 miles southeast of the Cape. So we shall see what happens when the storm is in this position. I'm assuming it's going to be a Category 1, but could ramp up quickly. I'm concerned about southeastern New England, so please stay tuned. I can't emphasize that enough. All right, today, lots of sun, dry air, 74 to 81. Get out and enjoy. Overnight, becoming partly cloudy, low 60s. Here's your five-day forecast for Boston. Tomorrow, sun clouds, warm and muggy, mid-80s. Watch for afternoon showers and storms. Some could be severe. Then cool northeast winds on Thursday, sun 68 to 73. Morning sun on Friday fades out. It could be raining at night, becoming windy, low 70s. Again, this is all based on the track of Hurricane Dorian. Where it goes, how intense it is. Rain would end very early Saturday, then developing sunshine, low 80 Sunday sun in clouds. So there you go. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Rosenthal.